Holden Tirana GDR XU1 Part 38. The lost art of file finishing. We're going to discuss that today. People think we're a little bit cuckoo, a little bit nuts for what we do, but you can see over here behind my shoulder the way that car's coming up. That's the reason we do what we do. But today we're going to delve into the art of file finishing, how it evolved and how it works for us in this trade. The concept of file finishing and panel beating likely started when metalworking became a common practice. However, file finishing evolved as time went by as the motor industry evolved itself. It became very common practice to repair things because back in those days there was no such thing as a plastic filler. Everything was lead wiped and it was correctly panel beaded out. That's the, the reason why this whole concept of the files evolved. Filing allows the panel beater to have an absolute precise finish and, and shape and smooth the steel or the panel that he's working on. Filing the panel helps to remove imperfections such as low spots, scratches, some high spots, rough edges, minor imperfections in the panel. Once it's filed up, it gives that nice smooth effect and you have that nice aesthetic finish to the panel once it's done. Refinements. It enables the panel beater to refine the contours and the curves of the steel and the symmetry of the panel that he's working on. Filing prepares the steel for further finishing processes, such as sanding, priming and painting for a smooth, even foundation. Customisation. Panels, panel beaters may also file steel to create custom shapes and designs, allowing for personalisation for modifications on the vehicle's bodywork. Overall, file finishing is a crucial step in the panel beating process contributing to the quality and the durability of the final product. So we're going to have a little bit of a, an insight into how Michael is going to find some highs and lows on this door here. He's been doing a bit of file finishing and he's done the quarter, he's got up to where he needs it to be, it's come up really nice and straight. But the door unfortunately still got a few little lows, a few highs and it's just here at the back of it. So this technique that he's using here with the Oxy, that's only acetylene, he's running a bit of soot there at the moment. And that's an old school and a correct way of actually the technique of trying to find your highs and lows. So when he's got that blackened enough and he's not overcooking that steel, there's virtually no heat there at all. It's just the, uh, the, the acetylene coming off the soot as you can see there. It'll give him that perfect black background to give him that guide when he runs that file across it. 
But that's the way we used to do it back in the day. It's a bit of a forgotten art, but it's a, a, the actual really correct way to go about it. If you've been taught the art of this panel beating trade, what we do, but you'll see here now very shortly, he'll run a panel file across that and you'll just see how it brings up the highs and lows. But the quarters come up nice, it's nice and straight. Have to be a bit careful, that's been hit back in the day with a 36 grit disc and it shaved a fair bit off. You had to be very careful with that quarter, but that's come up nicely, it's still got good meat on it. But now, this will show you highs and lows straight away. Don't need primer on it, because what happens if you still have imperfections, you go ahead and prime it when the metal's not good enough, you end up with too much of a build of primer on that panel. But this way, it's a bit of a tricky, sneaky way if you like, to get it really, really good with minimal primer. But you can see there already, the little bits and pieces of lows, He's taken that, that soot off as quick and as easy as that. No real effort, doesn't contaminate anything. But it gives him a real good insight now into where he is with that panel. And he's got a few imperfections there now. And he'll just chase them out of that. But the way he's gone about that, as I said there, it saves putting on a whole bunch of primer. And it's a waste of material and time to do all that. You can go down that route if you, if you want to cut a, a few corners, but we really don't. But that's a perfect example there. You can see as quick as that, you find your highs and lows. And he's wiping the bit of excess off there. Simple, quick and easy. It's gone. But now those, that black material that's left there, that'll stay there until he gets that really spot on now, or to the point that he's satisfied with his repair on that door. But that's really, for us, in our trade, that's the correct way to do it. That'll come up beautiful, that door. It'll need probably two coats of primer ready for colour after that. Okay, so you can see the remainder of the lows there in that door after Michael's um, given that a nice chop across the top there with the file. And, and you've got the, the last few little bits and pieces of black soot there from the oxy, and that's just that really perfect guide. And as I said earlier, very inexpensive, very simple system, and it creates no hassles, and it gives you that perfect guide coat to see what you've got. So at this stage, he's got a few little bits to go, not very much, tiny bit here but um, a little bit more firing and it's almost done. You could probably now get away with that. That's good enough for a prime coat, but we'll go to the, to the next level with this to get it absolutely spot on. But like I said, it makes a very, very simple and easy system to work with that. Okay, I'm starting to get some good progress on this quarter panel now. That low spot through here, it's it's nearly out. A little bit more work with that, I'll just push it a little bit more, give it a little bit more a dolly and a little bit of a slap, slap here and there. Um, a big thing is I need to be careful at the moment is my edges here. So when the door skins on the very edges, you never want to file through. Uh, that's really important. So. Obviously it's just experience and I know that that door's fitting perfect and it's just skimming perfectly across the top and I'm only taking off a, a, a tiny little bit bugger all because the focus is on this quarter panel. So it's starting to come up really nice now. Got a couple more lows through there. Just through here I need to bring that up. I'm also being very careful just to save that metal and the material on there and that water.
I have to be really careful here because I don't want to stretch this and I don't want to make work for myself. So I think that's where it comes into the experience. But if I was to stretch this, then it would need heat shrinking and it can become a really big job. So now I just want to make sure that I take my time and if it takes an hour and a half, if it's an hour and a half, it'll be perfect. Still a little bit low for the middle here. Okay, so I've got another low here, another dent, another dent there. The file's actually showing me that. It looks like I'm taking a lot off with this file, but it's literally, it's bugger all. You can see it's just like, it's like powder basically. Get the body spoon in behind and I like to just push those, those low spots out with my body spoon, just gently. new to the channel I'm Mick and the other blokes my dad Daryl. Now we're both panel beaters and spray painters, been in the trade for a long time, me 20, dad 50, so that's a little bit about us. All right, let's get on with this Tirana. So I've just finished file finishing the side of this quarter panel and it's come up absolutely mint. We've got the dents out and now what I need to do is, is move up to the top here and you can see there's a bit of filler and I've removed a little bit just here. The thing is, the body actually feels really good in the shape. It doesn't feel like there's any dents. There's a couple of little bits of rust, so maybe there was just a bit of pitting filled over it. There's quite a bit of filler there. And what that does is, it actually creates a little bit of a difference in the shape of the panel. And um, once we remove that, hopefully there's nothing too bad under there because that will give that really nice shape back and the, the actual, the originality of the panel and it's going to prime over beautifully. So let's hope there's no dents under there. And then you come up to the front door and you can see the filler, it's built up just here and it's quite a bit of a build up. Now, usually the reason why this would be done is because the door was that bad, it wasn't fitting and it was dropping. So the actual steel part would have been down here, just say around there. Now. Once you put the filler up, it makes it look like the door's in line and it's all fitting. So what we've done is we've got the doors fitting perfectly so it's steel to steel, as you can see the frame to the quarter panel. So the outer part of the door and the quarter panel's lining up along here. Now that's a really good fitment. So we'll remove all that filler. We don't need that on there now because the door's lining up really nicely with that quarter panel. So that's next. I'm just going to clean this up and uh, we'll see what we've got. and. We'll continue on. So, so you can see there, I've just removed all that filler on there. And I don't even know why there's actually filler there, to be honest. I think maybe because there's rust. That's the thing, half the time 
these cars have got filler on there for no reason. So, makes, makes no sense to me. Okay, so you can see that rust in under the filler. We definitely don't want that. So we're gonna remove all this filler out of here. And the best part about this is I can't feel any dints along there at all. So I'm not even sure why there's filler there. And the best part about this is now we're going to get that symmetry and that body lines all back in the panel. So when it's primed, it's gonna look really good. And by the time it's painted, it's not going to lose any of this symmetry through here. So yeah, it's going to be, um quite a nice finish once this is all removed again and um, obviously here just chipped that bog off in the corner there and the, the doors lining up now steel to steel with the quarter panel which is absolutely awesome so I'm happy with that so I'll continue on and we'll get this all cleaned out. Check out how mint this looks now in the gaps. It's really nice. You can see the door, how it lines up on the very top just here. Now that's absolutely mint. And then the same with the top of the door now to the quarter panel. Everything's fitting beautiful now. So I've removed that filler along the top there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's looking heaps better now. You can actually see that body line. And that's what's gonna change this car. It's gonna give it that really nice effect when it's all painted and also now you can see with that filler removed in this area it's going to have that really nice curve back in there again it's not going to have five mil of filler to, to actually get rid of that really nice flowing section through there so um, the best part about this is now i've got the door fitting and i can actually take the windows out so not all cars we would leave the windows in as we fit them, but with these cars, you definitely uh, want to try to leave the windows in because you know what they fit like. They are not the easiest car to get perfect. Um, so you definitely need to have the windows left in for all of this, as long as they're covered up. And um, when you're working, it's all good. So we'll pull this off and I'm going to remove these windows. And uh, that's why we use cardboard. Obviously, you don't need any sparks and stuff hitting your window. That would be what you call in our trade a rookie mistake. So, you never want to get any sparks on your glass, that's for sure. So.
Okay, that door frame looks really good. I'm quite happy with that actually. And um, basically what I'll do is now, because I'm about, I'm around up to this section here in file finishing. So I need to file the front of the door now and I need to file all this together. So then we can get that beautiful gap. So I'll knock that surface rust off um, and the quarter panel's done. So that's ready for primer. It's filed up. It's come up absolutely mint. I'm happy with that. The roof, I've, I've sanded a little bit off the edge. It looks really good, surprisingly. It might only be the, the, it might only be the best panel on the car so far. Let's just, let's cross our fingers and hope so. Here, you <laughs> is what's that and this and this and this, but you've gone from there to there. But what happened here was that like rookie mistake? Or so, over the years, if you want to get something on Pops's nerves, he's that fussy. This sort of stuff, I've pretty much if I've gone over here and I thought we'll see what Pops does when he comes over. I knew he would come and have a look, and obviously, you can see I haven't file finished this yet, and I've got a couple of lows in here. I need to just push them out and Mate, get them stop out. talking crap. Let's so, face it, you had a moment, you just <laughs> forgot about it, and you moved on. So, what do you reckon, Pops? What do I reckon? <laughs> I reckon that's a complete rookie mistake, that there. But oh, what were you going to just continue oh. on to the end of the car and go, that was it? It's patina now. <laughs> You're not wrong, Mr. Sorry, Tina. sorry, Matt, but uh, it's done. The, the, the car is safe now. All the, all the metal work's done, but we reckon. We'll leave that bit of a look, and um, that'll really get on Pops' nerves. That's up to you, mate. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going there. All right. Oh. But I don't no. know, what do you think of the Kovacs stuff? I did that just for you, Pops. Just, oh just, yeah. Just to get your attention. Yeah, right. You'll, you'll keep. What do you reckon? The so, Kovacs. Oh, the Kovacs. Yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, it's brilliant to be honest. Like, hey, we've used a lot of sandpaper over the years, and I mean a lot. We've tried, tried the cheap stuff, the good stuff, and I believe. Kovacs is right up there with 3, yeah. 3M. They're right up there with the Merca pads as well. The 3M, the Merca, the Kovacs, they're all pretty top quality, hey? What do you reckon? Yeah, um, Kovacs, we've used it a little bit now. We've tested it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, more than a little bit, actually. And it's Japanese made. And I'll tell yeah. you what, over the years, we've tried all brands of papers. We from, have From pops. rubbish to real good stuff. Yeah. And honestly, this Kovacs, it's right up there. It's right up there. Oh, it's it's good stuff. Last so, ability. Yeah. Um, it just cuts the stuff down nice. They've got different mm. grades, different ranges. You can go from coarse to all the way right down to the fine stuff. Yeah, they've got different eighties. We're going to get into that because we'll have those Kovacs guys coming here. Yeah. And um, they're going to the few reps are going to come out here with us. And if you want to you want to grab some, test it out. Remember SBI. They're they're the retail outlet for all that stuff. Yeah. So um, they. And they're good guys to deal with as well.
so that episode was all about the file finish, why we do what we do with the files. Hopefully that's given you guys a good look and an insight into how we use them and why we use them. And hopefully it'll help you guys if you want to attempt a file finish job. And I think the way this is progressing now for us, it's coming along really good. We're about halfway through the, uh, the body work or the metal work on this car, but it's coming up good, Mick. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's really good, Pops, how you actually explained the file finishing and why it's done in the trade, because a lot of guys don't understand, and it's nice just to um, explain that, how you did that. So it was good in this episode. Yeah, so, so a lot of guys that don't really understand what it's all about, hopefully yeah. you got a real good insight to, to how it all works now. Yeah, we had a lot of guys uh, just asking on Instagram, and they said they don't understand and uh, how it works so if you're watching there's a little bit of a rundown and there yeah, yeah it should, that should be good i'm sure it'll help yeah but anyway i think um i think we've come to the end of this episode and uh, i think we'll call it quits so as we do keep it real keep it right and we'll catch you on the next one thank you for watching adamson auto body and we'll see you on the next episode catch you later cheers everyone